Hi, I'm Dominique Fishback and I'm with Swarm. I'm Diego Luna and I'm in Andor. I'm Melanie Linsky and I'm on Yellow Jackets. acting in a theater company when I was 15 and in order to act you had to write your own stuff. So I started writing spoken word poetry and monologues and scenes and really being able to say how I feel about whatever it was at a very young age to like get a show like Swarm. Some people are like, oh this is the first time I ever heard of you and I'm like that's cool. And then some people are like, I've been watching this since the deuce. In a way I never thought that it was going to be possible in the universe of Star Wars to be saying something that matters so much to me, which is regular people should be part of change. I grew up my whole life thinking the stuff I like as an artist will never be popular. And with the show, I'm shocked because we go to work knowing there's people that want to see this, that want to love it also. That support, that expectation, it's special. I've never felt something like this before. At this point, I've been doing it for 30 years and I'm just like, grateful to still be working. I knew the script was great, but I've known other scripts were great and then they've just kind of come and gone. I've been like, goodbye. <laughs> so it was really nice that it developed a fan base and people were excited about the story. I feel like Swarm was a bit of like an acting boot camp. You know, it's not all the time where you have the lead actor that's in every single scene. There's no B storyline to cut to, to follow another character. You're just following Dre this whole time. I always felt like I could do something like that, but you never really know until you're given an opportunity. You think Cody Blaze is better than Naja? I don't know. Then why did you say she could die? What? You said she could die tomorrow and you wouldn't miss one song. Laughing emoji. so I'm grateful that half of the show, someone else is giving the performance. <laughs> That's great. Um, I get to be with my kid. I feel like I won the lottery, kind of. Sophie, she's just one of the greatest actors I've ever seen, just performing everything that's happened to my character. Like, thank you for that. <laughs> I really think it adds so much to the adult storyline on our show because you can see like my character holding a lot of stuff in and being very reluctant to have a feeling and then you see why, and it's a really powerful thing to see those things in combination with each other. Everything okay? He had an art studio, Jeff. Adam. <sighs> you know where it is? I think so. I, I think it's near the Jolly Hitcher. Oh, you've been there? No, no, never, never. Even though it's called Andor and it's about the journey of this character and the people he meets, the other side is really important. Tony Dilroy, the writer, does a really good work in expressing how control of the empire means everything, you know? It's everywhere. For example, that prison, it's not a prison, it's a factory. And you are producing and while you produce, in fact, they need you healthy and strong. And, and that makes you think. They don't have enough guards and they know it. They're afraid. Right now, they're afraid. Afraid? Afraid of what? They just killed a hundred men to keep them quiet. What would you call that? I'd call that power. Power. Power doesn't panic. I relinquished control because before I'd be like, oh, if I do this, then I know I can do a good performance. This time it was like, I don't know. My body is telling me to just be present and be influenced, and so that's what I did, and I'm just really happy that people felt the performance, felt the character and the story. The people that grew up watching Itu Mama Tambien are my age, and that was 20 years ago, and I've been part of their lives for so long that it's like our story matters to them in almost in the same way it matters to me. I think it's the work that has to talk and the stories we tell. The only thing I try is to be very specific on what I choose to do and then be honest with my work. I love what you were just saying about trusting your body with the character and knowing like maybe for this one I don't need to do my exact process. I think it just kind of works and now we're at a point where we're like let's not mess with it because it's going, <laughs> it's going okay. Mm -hmm.